Hey everyone, I'm Nick Larovier. I'm a director and cinematographer based out of Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, I want to share a series of tips and things that I've learned on my last few projects with you uh, that have really helped me take my projects to the next level and I hope they'll do the same thing for you. So today's topic is how to work with a concept artist. Uh, a concept artist is a wonderful thing. A wonderful, wonderful thing. So. Uh, working with a concept artist uh, has been very cool, especially for my film Artificial Intelligence, uh, because there are a lot of things that I can find references for and I can sort of vaguely think of. It's one thing to have a general idea of what you want, and it is another thing entirely to communicate that to a concept artist, who then creates a rendition of your vision on paper, right? Like, it is so much clearer for you, for, for uh, creative decision-making purposes and so much clearer to your whole team what it is that you want. Working with a concept artist uh, is helpful because it, you are creating references that are communication tools with your team. So I would say that's probably the one of the biggest reasons that I would recommend it. The other reason is um, it can help you create a more unique look and establish something more unique for your project, especially if it's sci-fi. So instead of just copying what someone else has made, you are now creating a synthesis or, or a new thing that is distinct and is obvious what you're going for because it's right there on the page. All right, so now that I've beaten that dead horse, uh, so how do you work with a concept artist? So I have developed a pretty good process over the last three years working with a concept artist uh, that I hire frequently. Uh, so first thing is I provide a series of references to him um, you could do this in Pinterest with the Pinterest board uh, That works really well or you could uh, do it through Google Drive or Dropbox or whatever But what I do is I collect references for things that I like and I provide those to him in an organized way so I'll give him a summary of what I'm looking for like Let's say it's a character, right? And I'm like, hey, I'm looking for a character design or, or concept for this bounty hunter character. Okay, so here's the bounty hunter character's uh, background. Here's a little synopsis about him. Here's some examples of things that I like. And what I'll do is I'll provide a group of references um, that might include like images of outfits and might include props and anything that would be on that character it might include what they look like um, so all sorts of references of people and things um, and if there are specific things that i like about those i will call those out to him i'll either draw on the pictures or i'll note that to him you know i really like uh, you know this hat and i really like this gun and i really like this outfit in here and i they need to have these cooling vests with the tubing running through them because that's part of the world and uh, people wear these cooling vests outside in the day because it's extra hot, right? This is an example, right? So I give him those world building pieces and I tell him what I like and what I'm looking for. And then I will uh, say, hey, can you, you know, synthesize this into something uh, that's like in a style that we've, that I'm referencing that we've talked about. Um, and I like to give him some leeway. Um, I think it's helpful to not dictate exactly to the artist what you want, but to give them some room for some creative freedom. Because what my artist does is he will create uh, like six different quick designs for that character. So he has room to play and he has room to like stretch it one way or another and like some more conservative takes on the, the idea and some more crazy ideas. Um, because you never know and then after I have sent those things to him, he will give me back those first initial concepts, quick sketches, and I will annotate like, okay, I really like this one the best, this one the second best, this one the third, ditch the other two, I, I'm not fans of those. Um, you know, I like this aspect of this one design and I like this aspect of this other design. And so then he will then create a second round where he'll synthesize those things that I like the most together. And usually around that time is when we start to or, or come to like a completed design. So that's how I will do that. And I will usually give him notes on that first round of, of draft concepts by um, editing the picture in whatever program and, and adding notes and drawing circles and arrows and stuff like that. So that seems to work really well for us. It's pretty streamlined. 
and um, not not to say that's the only way to do it but it works really good for us so hope that's helpful and I'll see you in the next video